This video outlines all the possible ways to open and save datasets in Stata, that work similarly to those tasks in other computer applications. There are a few differences. Let's have a quick look at how we can do it in Stata. In practice, a Stata dataset can be opened in a variety of ways, most of which are probably familiar to you from other applications, however. First, it is possible to save and open files from within status command window or menu. Second, Stata allows just one dataset to be active at any one time. That is, while it is possible to have multiple datasets in memory at once, only one dataset may be active. Keeping this in mind will make status care in opening new datasets clear. In the easiest way, just double click on a Stata data file, which is a file whose extension is .dta. Note that the file extension may not be visible, depending on what options you have set in your operating system. Also, you can firstly open Stata, then select File, and click Open, or click on the Open button and navigate to the file you want. In another way, you can open datasets recently used by selecting File, then Recent Files, and click on your dataset. You can also open a dataset by typing Use File Name in the command window. Opening a dataset in the current frame will replace the dataset, if any, that is currently in memory for that frame. Datasets in other frames are unaffected. If there have been changes to the data in the dataset in the current frame, Stata will refuse to discard the dataset unless you force it to do so. If you open the file with any method other than the command window, you will be prompted. If you use the command window and the current data have changed, you will get the error message. For saving a Stata dataset, there are two situations of saving a dataset, that has been changed, and saving an unnamed dataset or an old dataset under a new name. We can do it as following. To save a dataset that has been changed, select File, then click Save, or just click on the Save button, or type Save, Replace in the command window. Once you overwrite a dataset, there is no way to recover your original dataset. With important datasets, you may want to either keep a backup copy of your original file name dataset, or save your changes to a dataset under a new name. This is no different from working with a word processing document, except that recovering from an inadvertent save of a dataset is nearly impossible. To save an unnamed dataset, or an old dataset under a new name, just select File, then click Save As, or type Save File Name in the command window. Note that changes you have made to a dataset are not permanent until you save them. You work with a copy of the dataset in memory, not with the data file itself. This should not be surprising, because it is the way that you work with almost all applications on your computer. We finish here the video. Thanks very much for your attention. See you soon in the next videos.